Trump rally. Here's Taylor Temby. From Mountain Vista to Team USA, the 18-year-old Mallory Pugh rose through the ranks of the National Youth Program before being called up to the senior team last January. At that time, she was one of the youngest players to get called up in 15 years. This year, she'll have some young company. Jalen Howell and Sophie Smith, both juniors at Fossil Ridge High School, got the call up to Team USA last week, and they join us now. You guys, thank you so much for being here with us. We really appreciate it. Yes, thank, thank you for you. having us. So let's talk a little bit about just this experience in general. Both of you are in the national system, but what was it really like for you getting that phone call and saying, hey, we want you up on the senior team? Um, honestly, words can't really explain that. It's obviously something that we've dreamt of since we were little girls. And finally getting that call up, knowing that we're going to go get to play with the best players in the world, um, well, like words can't describe it. It was definitely shocking. A um, mm -hmm. little bit unexpected just because we just came back from U17 World Cup to 20s and 23s and it just happened really fast. but. We're obviously very happy and very excited to have this opportunity, so. I mean, it's incredible. Being that you guys are both so young, I mean, you're back home now, back at school. Mm -hmm. What's the response been like? I mean, have your friends been asking you guys for autographs? I mean, what's, what's it been like? <laughs> um, I think it's definitely something that we've all, us and our friends, have had to kind of take in and, like, actually, like, realize that it's real and it's happening. Um, I think all our friends are super happy for us and excited for the opportunity that we got. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cool that we, both of us get to go back to the same school yeah. and kind of be known as the soccer girls. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. It's awesome. Like our friends and family are so supportive. Um, and like she said, it's, it's awesome that we go to the same school and we can share the same friends and uh, we can all enjoy the experience together. So it's just nice to have somebody on your side no matter what and mm -hmm. um, obviously we've grown up together and so um, we're close and um, yeah it's just been great so I think um, it's awesome to go through this process just as it is but to go through it with someone that mm -hmm. you've known since you were little to go through it step by step and progress together I think it's really cool yeah. um, to always have someone by your side ask questions too um, I think it's a unique experience that a lot of people wouldn't get to have. Just in general, I mean, to see uh, you two, Mal Pugh, Lindsay Horan, all at this elite level, I mean, what does that say about the, the level of girls' soccer in Colorado? Um, the coaches mm -hmm. at each club, Real and Rush, are just amazing. Um, they all know what they're doing. They know how to get you to the highest level, um, and they support you, and they're there to um, kind of help you grow as a person and as a player, and I think we can give a lot of credit to the coaches that we've grown up having. Um, but yeah, just the, the development in this state is, I think, one of the highest ones sure. in the country. Yeah, no, definitely um, Colorado's a hotbed for women's soccer right now, and I think that's due to the club development and, um, again, like the coaching staff, and uh, they do a great job, and the great players that we get to play with every day mm -hmm. to push us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked a little bit about it, but I mean, Fossil Ridge is off to a great start this year. Unfortunately for them, you two will not be playing with Fossil Ridge uh, this season. But what is next for you? I mean, I know you're kind of juggling a few of these national teams right now. It's kind of hard to <laughs> know exactly what's next because you don't get the call up until like a couple weeks before the actual camp, and right now we're kind of drifting between three teams as the 20s are preparing for the World Cup. Um, and then there's the 23s and then obviously the full team that we hope to go back into. Um, but just got to always be ready, keep our fitness up because we <laughs> never know what's next. Um, yeah, and then we have our club nationals at the end of June too, so mm -hmm. always look forward to that. Um, but yeah, the World Cup for the U20s is um, probably our next main focus. So, and mm -hmm. hopefully, National Team 23s too, so. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you both so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And of course, we are looking ahead to your careers. We can't wait to see where you guys go and, and how far you'll take this. But uh, thank you again. We'll have much more coming up later, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.